Hey guys, it's Miller here. Coming back at you some fire content on the Fire Dad 18 channel. And in today's vid, we're going to be recommending you players for the event in order to get 92 overall. I actually forgot the event guy. Wade Boggs. We're trying to get him 92 overall breakout. I'm going to suggest you a couple players. A couple that have been suggested for my viewers too to use. So yeah, I don't want to hold you up here though. I want to show you these players. So let me get right to it. Okay, so guys, we're back. So the first card that I'm going to be suggesting to you is Joey Gallo. This one was definitely suggested from a couple of my viewers. They have said that, like, he's amazing with the power. I mean, right now he's a little bit down today, but he's still a really good hitter either way. Like, it might be a bronze hitting, but look at that crazy power. 102 power against righties, 92 power against lefties, so it's 100 plate discipline. Pretty good, I must say, for a guy who doesn't hit well for contact. So yeah, like, these are not some bad stats. He has okay fielding, decent speed. I think he can definitely do if you guys need a power hitter on the team. So yeah, that's the first card I suggest. Make sure you put him in there at third base. He also can play left field or center field. Pretty reliable option as a utility hitter, so I'd suggest you get him right away as you can. He is only going for 988. That's actually a lot. I don't know how he's going that much. Okay, guys, so we're back. We got the next card up on our list. Pedro Alvarez, man. He is a beast. All right? That's all I got to say. Look at that power against righties. Look at that contact against righties. He is another lefty you can get. He only plays third base, so obviously put that Joey Gallo at first, but he can be a reliable third base option. He's got pretty pretty good fielding, great power in contact versus righties, pretty good clutch, decent discipline, but he doesn't have the best vision in the world. But hey, I'll take him just for his fielding and, and that contact and power versus righties. Like, if you want a guy who can hit that well, put him in there. He will clutch up for you no matter what. I'd suggest you get him right away. You can easily get him by doing the third base souvenir mission, which I'm about to show you right now, right here. He's a pretty nice, reliable option. I haven't finished this mission yet, but you can get him just by doing these missions. Pretty easy, I must say. You can easily buy him with the amount of stuff you probably have right now. Anyways, on to the next card. There are some really good ones out there. Okay, guys, so the next card on the list is another player from the Pirates. Another one that I saw that was kind of suggested, and I also kind of thought about him too in a while because I saw him being used all over the field in these games. He's been monster for many reasons, and they're like it's hard to count basically why. But let me tell you now, it's Sean Rodriguez here. He can play first base, but he can also play second base, third base, shortstop, left field, center field, right field. Only position he cannot play in the hitting field or in the out in the field is catcher but he is still amazing for what his like versatility is like holy crap those secondary positions though also look at his contact not bad versus righties also got good co great contact versus lefties pretty good power versus righties pretty good contact versus lefties as well he's an all-around pretty good hitter he's also got he's got okay vision pretty good discipline though and that clutch not bad and he's also not a bad fielder so yeah i'd suggest you get him right now too he made bat ready but those righty stats are still amazing for what he's hitting. I suggest you get him right away. He can be very versatile. He can be very helpful for you in the field and in the bats. So yeah, guys. On to the next card. This card is a really good card, though. I really suggest this guy. Highly. Alright, so the next card I want to suggest here is Eduardo Nunez. He's a really nice little second baseman right here from the Red Sox. He used to be on the Minnesota Twins and the Yankees in the past. He's always been really good, too, like... I swear to God, like, this guy is so, was such a beast for the Twins, at least in 2016. Like, he had great contact, as shown right there. He's great contact versus righties, good contact versus lefties. 69 right there, notable right there. 46 power, holy crap, what are the notable numbers today? 50 more power versus lefties. So he's not the best power hitter, but he's very good for contact reasons, and he also has really good vision, really good speed, and not a bad fielder by any means. And he can play a good, a decent amount of other positions. He may be, well, he's actually very close to Sean Rodriguez in terms of that. But either way, that's not the point. The point is that I would just have to get him just for these main reasons. Like, seriously, he can play that outfield. He can play shortstop. Like, why not get him? Like, look, like, I just suggested right away, he's another guy that I would highly suggest to get pick up. So, so far, I've introduced two lefties, two righties. Now I want to get on to a really good switch hitter here, I'd suggest. The final card I'd like to be introducing here. It took me a little long time to find him, but 
I suggest it's Marwin Gonzalez here. So he's gone down a bit, of course, he's not really hitting as well, but he's got four star rating right now. Either way, that's not the important thing here. The important thing is his versatility. So he's originally a left fielder, but he can play first base, second base, third base, shortstop, and right field. He's very good, alright? Like he's a really good card, just for that. He's got great versatility. That's kind of one of the reasons why I suggested him, but he's also not a bad hitter. Pretty good contact. He doesn't have the greatest power though, so one big issue there, but he's a switch hitter, so like it really won't matter as much. Like it's not one dependable situation. He can go all around. Pretty nice there. He's also got pretty good vision. Like he's got pretty decent vision for a switch hitter. Also really good clutch. Good durability. Also a pretty nice fielder. Not the best speed though, but he's still a really nice card I'd pick up by the way, just for its versatility and switch hitting ability. So yeah, that's probably the last card I'd suggest here. I mean, he's not the one I would highly suggest, but he's still a card to pick up. So, okay, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. Hope you all enjoyed. If you have any other players you want to suggest for the event, leave them. Leave a comment down below if you want to suggest them. You definitely can. You're free and open to do so. These are five cards, though, that I really highly suggest to get, mostly because of their ability to play different positions, hit the ball pretty well, and field, of course, with some good speed. So... Yeah, thank you all for coming into this video. I'll see you all in the next video stream. Peace, guys.